Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Welcome. Getting into a rut when it comes to makeup is always around the corner. It's always lurking. It's always waiting to attack. It's always there, like the presence of the rut is always in the room. You know, so often when it comes to makeup, you find out about this new technique or this new product and your whole life circles around it. And then that technique or product is the only thing you focus on. And before you know it, that's the only thing you're doing. And then you're in a rut because then you don't know what to do and keep it fresh and keep it new. This is my YouTube channel. <laughs> So when it comes to makeup, you always have to find ways to tickle yourself a little bit. It's just like the tickle, 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 tickle. In this field of work, you always gotta inspire yourself and find new ways to try makeup or just find new products to play with. And that is why I love doing challenges so much because it tickles me, tickle, tickle. <laughs> It tickles me to try new products, new techniques. It might give me a big like eureka. I'm like, <gasps> that's what I can do with my technique and my routine and my everything. So challenges are fun. So today I came up with another challenge. Challenge Tutorials is back at it again. Hello. So when I was looking online, I saw one of those like find your stripper name and it says the first letter of your first name and then the first letter of your second name. And I was like, the, f the first letter. Today's challenge is called the first letter makeup challenge, meaning that I have to use brands that start only with my first letter of my first name, which is of course, Nikki N. Guess what? There are not a lot of beauty brands that start with the letter N out there, okay? Basically the brands that I could choose from were NYX, Natasha Denona, Nebla, and NARS. So this is gonna be exciting to see what type of look I create using just the products that start with my first letter. Alrighty, time for the first letter challenge. Time for primer, and this is the first problem we run into. Now, I know it's a fact that NYX, Natasha Denona, NARS, probably even Nebla, have primers for the face. The problem is, I don't have them. I have nothing to prime with except the queen of all hacks is here. When you prime your eyelids, eyelids is skin, so why not prime the T-zone, the essential area of the face, using this? This right here is by NARS. It is a Pro Prime Smudge Proof eyeshadow base. And I was like, if it primes an eyelid, it can prime my oily nose, right? So just a little bit on the nose. I mean, that feels pretty normal. That feels like it could be a thing. Oh my God. Oh, I don't think my nose has ever looked this blurred. Look at the camera. It looks like my nose is out of focus, but it's that blurred. Are we finding out about something new in this video? A little bit on the forehead. Ooh, this might break me up. Oh, I'm gonna regret this. For foundation, we have landed upon Natasha Denona. This right here is the Transfer Matte Pore Vanishing Matte Foundation. This is the only foundation that starts with an N in my collection because I currently don't own any NARS or NYX or Nebla foundations um, that I could use today. So this is, this is it. I actually used to use this foundation a lot back in the day. And I can see why? Oh, holy gods of coverage. Why did I stop wearing this? This is really good. Oh God, I missed you. Welcome back into my life. Like truly, this is covering up this forehead valley like a dream. Oh, why did I abandon you like that? The next product I'm about to use has been making a comeback onto my channel because this NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer is quickly becoming my new favorite eyeshadow base. This is amazing. And not only is it a great eyeshadow base, it is also a beautiful, beautiful concealer. I've used this a lot in the past, kind of deviated from it, and now we are back home. So I'm going in with Light One Chantilly.
and I'm setting my face using the NARS Soft Velvet Loose Powder in Snow. Who remembers this one? It's an oldie but a goodie. Okay, I quickly went off camera to do my brows and I used this right here. This is the NYX Precision Brow Pencil in the color Blonde. I adore this. I've been using this for months, maybe even years at this point. And why I like it so much is because it is a straight pencil. So creating the outlines and then filling in is a breeze. I highly enjoy this. I've always enjoyed it and I really recommend it. However, now it is time for the shadows. And I, like I showed you in the intro, I have Natasha Denona palettes. I have a couple of NYX palettes. I have Nebula palettes. And I feel like with the vibe that's going on today with the backdrop and the, and the look, I want something like ochre golden bronze. So like, like, like your typical like Instagram glam, but a little bit more unique by pulling it towards the yellow ochre side. I don't know if any of that makes sense. It does in my head, hopefully for now. I hope it translates, it never does. So the palette I wanna dive into today is by NYX, starting with an N. This is Swear By It. It's a shadow palette that has a bunch of eyeshadows in it. It has 40 colors, especially this, like the heart of the palette, like this shade section here, really calls my attention. So we're gonna go in with that today. Before we get to the shadow though, we have to prime and I'm using the NARS Complete Soft Wet Soft Complete Soft Matte Complete Concealer. It went under the eyes, it's now going on top of the eyes too. The first color I wanna dive into is this one right here. It matches the vibe. And I'm starting to stamp that into the crease and just laying it down and I'm bringing it towards the inner portion of my crease as well. I kind of want this to be a dramatic glam look but still somehow it's wearable. I don't know how, but I will try. I mean, this palette already is like, oh, it's a party. We're pigmented, we're showing up, it's affordable, it's NYX. I believe I got this for like an affordable makeup look once and I never really dove into it, but here we are, loving life. Okay, now I wanna blow out the edges even more using this ochre yellow shade there. Just getting that into the mix. Now I'm taking this Nebla Cutie Palette in Coral, and it's so cute, you guys. Look how beautiful and stunning. I'm gonna go into this shade right here called Mandarin, and I'm gonna be highlighting my brow bone with this to keep it super blingy. Okay, actually looking at this palette, I am loving this one right here. Do you see? The duochrome, the pink shine of it all. It's called I Got You, and that is going on the lid. Ooh, oh, oh my God. I love these tones together. I am really, really liking this vibe. I feel like we could pull it a little bit more vampy and smoked out and blown out and be like, oh, blown out got us. Okay, I also have this Look at that packaging. Look at the packaging. Oh my God. This is the Nebla Glimmer Light Multi-Reflective Illuminating Palette. This is what we see when we open it up. Lots and lots of fun. And I wanna pop this very yummy candy baby pink on the inner corner. Low lash line, darling. Okay, lower lash line, I don't know why, but this color red shape in this cutie palette by Nebla is just, it's speaking to me. I know I said I wanted to do sort of like a wearable look, but we've departed that boat. You know, we missed that boat. Okay, we're going back to color. Okay, then blending underneath using an orange from that same Swear By palette by NYX to tie in the smoke on the bottom to the smoke on top. So now this is pulling together with that. I mean, come on, isn't this look so much fun? It's grungy, yet colorful, it matches my shirt. I'm like, 
Whew, we could have another basic day any other day, but today it's time for a little bit of color. So I'm liking where this is going. I'm gonna pop a lash on. Yes, the lashes too have to start with a brand that starts with an N. So the lashes I'm gonna be using are by New Bouncem and they look like this. They are the Bella Bays. So I'm gonna pop those on, do the other eye, and I'll be right back. Lashes are on and like I said, I am living for the vibe. I like how this challenge has forced me to kind of use different palettes that I usually don't really gravitate towards and that NYX palette came through. The Nebula palette came through. So this has made me very, very happy. Sadly, I couldn't find a bronzer from any of the brands that I am allowed to use today because I quite frankly just don't own them. So I'm gonna have to get creative here. I'm gonna take the Swear By It palette and see the shade here. That looks like a nice contour bronzy shade. So I'm just gonna like dip my brush in very carefully and pick some of that up and use that to sculpt this face. And you know, that tells you that if you're a beginner in makeup and you don't just quite have all the products yet, that's fine. There's a bunch of eyeshadow palettes that can be used on the eyes, on the face, on the lips. Like, products don't have rules. You have to use them wherever you like. For a blush, it's actually the same situation. I don't have a blush from any of the brands, so I'm gonna have to opt for eyeshadow. And since I've been using and abusing this Cutie palette by Nebla, why not use the color Feelings as a pup of blush? Ooh, she bright. Ooh. Oh, she bright. Mm -hmm, that's really bright. For highlighter, I have this Nebla one. This is called the Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powder in the color Ozone. This is beautiful. It reminds me a lot of the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finishes, like the sort of look and feel of them. This is stunning. As you can see, I've been wearing this a lot. Last skin it is. For lips, I have some options. I have the Liquid Lipsticks by Nebla, and apparently I only kept the nudes. I really like this pink tone. It's called Roses, and it kind of matches with the eye on the lid, so maybe I should do Roses with like a little bit of a more nude gloss to tone it down. Even though this look is already so much, like why would you tone it down, but still. You know, being transgender, I really made up my own name, so I should have gone for something with a B, because little did I know that it would be so helpful later on in my life, but N works out just fine. <laughs> okay, time for a little bit of gloss. I'm using this NARS Lip Gloss, Velvet Lip Glide, because we can never just call it lip gloss, um, in Stripped. And there we have it guys, my full face done using makeup that only starts from brands, starting with my first letter, N. I surprisingly enough had a lot of fun with this because at first I was like, mm, N. Not a lot of beauty brands out there that start off with an N. Just putting it out there in the universe, there need to be more brands that start off with an N. Thank you. For today's Dutch word of the day, let's keep it easy. If you're in Amsterdam or anywhere in Holland and you want to introduce yourself, this is what you say. My naam is Nikki. And what you're saying is my name is Nikki. Well, your name probably is Nikki, but like if your name is Nikki, my name is Nikki. And uh, that is how you can introduce yourself here in Holland. You're welcome. <laughs> As always, if you wanna get featured in my next video, all you have to do is leave the Dutch word sentence of the day down below in the comments, and who knows, you might see your face pop up in the next one. And I wanna thank you so much for watching today. I had a lot of fun with this, and please try it out. If you have a more challenging name with even less beauty brands known to us to use, to pick from, to do stuff with. Thank you so much for watching, I love you, and hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.